Listen closely to the sounds in these clips. Can you hear any similarities between them? If you've seen any documentaries, TV shows, movies, or even cartoons related to World War II, you would easily recognize the distinct whistle of a bomb being dropped from an airplane and falling towards the ground. But why do bombs make that ominous whistling sound, and does it serve any purpose? It is a common misconception that all bombs emit a whistling sound as they fall. However, this distinct sound effect is frequently used in movies and TV shows to portray a falling bomb. This pop culture trope we know today has its roots in the Second World War. The Luftwaffe, or the German Air Force, conducted extensive bombing campaigns against Allied countries, such as Britain and France. Their bombs were equipped with unique whistles that produced a distinct sound as they descended toward the ground. The whistling sound is affected by a phenomenon known as the Doppler effect, named after Austrian physicist Christian Doppler. The Doppler effect is the change in the wavelength or frequency of a wave with respect to an observer who is either moving towards or away from the wave source. Have you ever noticed how the sound of an ambulance siren changes as it passes by? That is due to the Doppler effect. As the ambulance approaches you, the sound gets higher pitched and more shrill. The same thing happens when a bomb falls from a plane. The pilot hears a high pitched sound that becomes less sharp as the bomb falls away from the airplane. The installed whistles in bombs were designed to cause fear and panic among the enemy, including the general public. It was intended to be detrimental to the morale of troops and civilians, and many historians classify those whistling bombs as weapons of psychological warfare. In addition to bombs, the German Air Force had certain planes that made a terrifying wailing sound as they dove toward the ground to drop their payload. The most notorious was the Junkers Ju 87, popularly known as the Stuka dive bomber. This plane had small fans attached to the airframe that generated a loud, bone-chilling screech when the pilot dove to make a bombing run. This equipment acted as an intimidating siren and was called Jericho's Trumpet. The German Air Force heavily relied on Stuka dive bombers in the initial stages of World War II, especially during its invasion of Poland in 1939. That's why the effectiveness of the Stuka dive bomber as a weapon of psychological warfare became infamous around the globe. The whistling bombs and wailing airplanes serve as a somber reminder of the destruction caused by these deadly weapons. They also represent an important lesson from recent history that we must not forget. Using weapons, violence and destruction does not resolve conflicts.